Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and I've got a developer diary today for Gravity Garden, my science fiction themed farming simulation. And today I posted a, a new alpha version of the game that includes this nifty animated full body avatar system. Uh, previous versions of the game, we just had the uh, disembodied hands or tools, but I really wanted to give this full body avatar a try when I got the chance. I saw this uh, kind of amazing sounding plugin on the Unity Asset Store called Final IK, and so I decided to give it a try. It had good reviews and it looked great. And uh, what it does is just in real time, it takes the position and orientation of your head and your hands. And it uses that to figure out where the rest of your body is going to be. It uses the magic of inverse kinematics. And uh, it's actually pretty effective, especially when you're just uh, kind of walking around in your play space, which I think is what this uh, plugin was originally designed to do. But uh, at least the VR version of it. But anyway, I'm very happy with how it's working. It, it feels good to have a body to go along with the hands and uh, it feels more solid it feels more like you're here so um, I'm very happy with that I'm also very happy just to have this avatar back uh, the kind of prototype for gravity garden it was a 2d simulation of this well I made for the monitor version of this sim and it included this avatar this was your avatar the stylized human and uh, I got attached to it and I missed him ever since um, I went to the VR version. So it's nice to have this avatar back. It really kind of completes the style of the universe that I was going for. <laughs> Bubbles. It's a little bit janky when he's walking. I'm still working on that, but uh, I don't mind a little bit jank in this universe. It kind of goes along with the visual aspects too. It's kind of cute the way he stumbles around sometimes. Although I still have a problem sometimes with his head um, clipping into the camera. I'll fix that. Um, so let's see. What else is new? We, oh, we've got um, some pests invading the garden over here. Quite a few of them. These guys have been eating up all the nutrients in the soil and growing fat and multiplying. So this is a, an example of uh, one of the challenges you might face in the game is uh, pests invading your garden and you have to detect them and find them, uh, finding out how to get rid of them and then uh, deal with them before they damage your crops or eat up some of your resources or uh, some other bad thing. Boy, these ones really went to town. I've also been working on the particle systems. Um, all the stuff for these rock nom guys, lots of particles on them. And the water, they're now mesh particles that bounce around on the ground and split into smaller particles. Unity's got some really powerful particle tools, so it's fun to put them to use. And they make everything better. So, yeah, let's see. We've got new avatar system new pest particle oh yeah um i thought it'd be kind of a fun contrast from the humanoid avatar for on the ground and then when you're flying around maybe to have something a little more ephemeral still so right now i have some neat particle effects on my hands and almost like a beating heart at the center and uh, this is another way i might open up some player customization too uh, letting the player choose the effects and shapes they're uh, representing them and uh, maybe even those disembodied hands that we had before and the same with this avatar um you could let the player choose from a bunch of skins that i create different uh, patterns and textures or whatever and maybe even some different avatar shapes that's something i'm really trying to concentrate on in gravity garden is giving the player a lot of choices to make and ways to customize the world to make it like their world so that's an important part of the game and this will help us do that all right so uh, 
thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my indie efforts. And uh, if you do have access to Gravity Garden, please do give it a try and let me know what you think of the avatar. I'm really curious if I got the height adjustments correct and what you think about uh, the lining, the alignment of the grabbing mechanisms and the, like the scanners and such. So, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time in my garden. Bye.